Hello, class. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good, good. Welcome. How are you guys? Hold on, just give me a moment. Can you guys see me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Um, all right, guys, welcome. Welcome to today's class. Um, how is everybody? Pretty good? Fine, teacher. Yes, Fine, teacher. Great. Good, good. All right. Good to see everybody. Well, not everybody, but the people that are here, good to see you guys. Thank you. Okay. Um, how was your day at work? Do you have a good day at work or not so much? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yeah. Good, good. Uh, it was not too, it was not a, such a hard day today. Not so much. Uh, it was a crazy day. <laughs> it was a crazy day, really. Why? Tell me about it. Yes. Why was it? Uh, I was running. <laughs> Uh, to the production, to the make an audit, uh, to meetings, make a presentation uh, of uh, a project because uh, the, the group uh, have to present the result of the, of the project tomorrow to the uh, El Salvador's manager. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so you've been very busy. Yes. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, so that, that's for tomorrow? Is that for tomorrow? Yes. Oh, okay. okay. So tomorrow you will be finished. You will, you won't have to worry. Uh, well, uh, we had waiting uh, the opinion of the Salvador manager, mm -hmm. and if the, if she said yes, uh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. We have to continue with the other cells. Oh, uh, I, I I don't know how to say el, el despliegue. Despliegue. Okay, uh, 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 we are we are with two cells of, of the production right now. Gotcha. Uh, is a is a pilot, and um, and if the managers say it's it's all okay, we have to continue with the other cells. Oh, okay, okay, all right, I understand. So it's not going to finish soon, then. No, okay. it's the beginning. <laughs> Just the beginning. Oh my god. Um. All right. Well, there's no. There's no, no way around it then. That's just gonna be life. Okay, well guys, um, okay, let me take attendance. Uh, Ana Claudia. Oh wow, she's not here. Okay. Um, Andres. Present. All right, welcome Andres. Uh, Edgar. Is Edgar here? No, okay. Um, and El Elsie? Present. Elsie Janet, okay, welcome Elsie Janet. And Fabiola? Mm -hmm. Fabiola, no, okay. All right, what about Haiti? Is Haiti here? Good evening. Hi. Okay. Late. <laughs> uh, is Irene here? Irene? No? Okay. Um, what about my Ivan? Is Ivan here? Ivan? No. Okay. All right. Uh, Johnny. Johnny here? Okay. Uh, Josue? Josue, are you here? 
Ah, yes. Present teacher. Okay. Welcome, Josué. Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco. No. Okay. Jerry. Is Jerry here? Jerry, no. Okay. Uh, Carla. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Carla. Melissa, no, right? Uh, Luis Ernesto? Present teacher. Welcome, Luis. Manuel Alejandro? Manuel Alejandro? No? Okay. Uh, Marvin? Is Marvin here? No? Okay. Um, Wendy? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Wendy. Warner. Okay. Present teacher. All right, welcome, Warner. Yvonne? In drive, teacher. I can see that. Yvonne? Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Francisco Javier? Francisco Javier, no. Okay, and Jenny. Jenny, no, okay. All right, I'm going to take again uh, the attendance of people that I didn't hear. Please tell me if um, you're here and I missed you. Um, Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Okay. And uh, Edgar? You guys are still not here? Okay, uh, Fabiola, Irene, Ivan, Johnny, Juan Francisco, Jury, uh, Melissa, Manuel, Marvin, Francisco, Javier, and Jenny. Okay. Wow, we're missing quite a few people. Okay. All right, guys. Well, welcome to today's class. Um, I hope you guys are having a good week. And um, I hope everything uh, goes well to finish off this week. We only have one more day left of the week. Right? So, you know, just, you know, hang in there. We're almost done. We're almost done. Okay. And then next week is going to be a short week. Right? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Jerry. Um, so next week is going to be short, short week, right? Good evening. Good evening, Manuel. Um, everybody's going to have a, a vacation next week? No? Yes, Chair. Oh, good. Good, Yvonne. Okay. No. Josue says no. Ana Claudia says no. Mm. Really? No. I will work normally. Well, you know what? A double pay. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh well. That's, but you're right. I mean, at least at least there's that to look forward to. That would be. Okay. All right. What about the rest of you guys? Do you are you gonna have um are you guys gonna have a, a vacation or a small holiday? No? No, you're not going to? No, everybody's going to work? I have vacation. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, excellent. Good evening. Good evening, Marvin. Okay, good. Well, guys, um, I'm going to uh, begin with our um, PowerPoint. So please tell me if you can see it. See it? Yes, teacher. Good. So, beginner module six, unit three, HR procedures. The date is Thursday, June 10th, 2021. The day is day 14, and your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. 
Okay, so let's begin by looking at our conversation. Okay. But before we begin, look at our conversation, we have a question, we have some questions here. What are some qualities a good employee needs to have? Make a list. And what is the most essential quality to get it wrong? So right now, I want you to um, just make a list of qualities that a good employee needs to have. Okay, make a list and say what is the most essential quality to get a promotion. Okay. Right, so I'm going to give you, you know, a minute or two to write down the qualities you think a good employee needs to have, okay? And if you guys need help with vocabulary, you can ask me too. Are you guys finished? Do you need more time? Please let me know if you are finished, if you need more time. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Edgar. Okay, how are you guys doing? Are you ready? Can we check? Yes, teacher. Yes? Everybody's finished? 
Anybody needs more time? Anybody needs more time? Okay, all right, perfect. So what we'll do then right now is I'm going to get you to work in small groups and I want you to share your list. Find out which qualities you all you have in common. Okay, so in the list that you have made, which qualities would do you say that do you have, agree with that are important for a good employee? Okay, so I'm going to make a, the breakout rooms right now. Just give me a moment. Um, okay, and I'm going to give you, I'll give you about 10 minutes to discuss, okay, because the idea here is not just to read the, the, the qualities, but to discuss them, right? So you're going to find out uh, which ones you think um, are the most important, right, and try to figure out which ones everybody kind of agrees with, okay? So let's open all the rooms. Ivan, are you going to join your group? Okay. I think that, well, the ones I, I wrote is honesty, ambition, and strong work ethics, leadership skills, organizational skills, active listening skills, intelligence, and results orientated. What do you okay. think? And I guess it's efficient, knows how to solve problems, has a good attitude, is resilient. Hold on, hold on, Janet. Attitude or attitude? Attitude. 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 Okay. Has a good attitude. Is resilient. Is honesty. Is willing to learn. Hi, guys. Hello, teacher. Hi, teacher. Rose, all of us, and you're like, <laughs> but we're talking in English. I know, I know, I know. No worries. Yeah, is that true? Is that true? Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, Warner, I don't know. Are you in your car still? Yes, teacher. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Okay. No problem. Um. Well, if you can, oh, uh, make an opinion. Great. If not, don't worry. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, continue. Continue. Like, I'm not here. Ignore me. Okay. Okay. Um, well, Carla, I said about uh, the, the people, mm -hmm. uh, the employees. Mm, they need to know to solve the problem and to 
you uh, in your la the last quantity, you said uh, the procedure. I think if yeah. employees know the procedure, uh, they can to solve the problem. Uh, any any problem that um, is present in the company. Yeah, it's very important. Um, very good. Now, just remember, they can solve, not they can to solve. Like after can, always use the oh yeah the verb in just their the original form, the base form, no to. Okay. Okay. The employee can solve any problems uh, in the company. That's right. For example, uh, can you? I don't know. I'm looking for that, but I, I'm not. I don't have anything. Teachers, I found fast learning. I, I, este, uh, to say easy learning. Uh, what is the phrasal verb? Oh, mejora, eh, fácil, fácil aprendizaje. You mean, you mean as an adjective? Yeah. As yeah. an adjective, you would say fast learner. Okay, fast, fast learner. learner. Un, un, uh, un aprendiz, no. In this case, una persona que aprende rápido. Uh -huh. What is the sentence that, that I found on the internet? What's learning? That's learner. That's learner. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Responsibility. Team, teamwork. And a communication abilities. A communication yeah. abilities. Good relationship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Teamwork. Saying, uh, oh, yeah, Yuri, tell work, team working? Team working. Team work. Team work. Um, next question. Mm -hmm. what, 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 what is the most essential quality to get a promotion? Essential. Yeah. Maybe one uh, can be knowledge. Experience in the in in the company, I think. Accomplishment, complement the results. Uh, and deliver to the deliver to the new hires uh, to the production floor. Recruitment, uh, recruitment, and uh, training, and uh, training to the trainees, the new hires. Production. Production. <laughs> word. Oh my production. God. You know what? I'm, when everybody's together, I'm gonna get everybody go. Production, production, production. <laughs> Consultant. Yes, I, that, that was yesterday word, right? Yes. I was trying to remember what was the word. In my, was... the, in my work, uh, the, the word produ production is the all day, all day, all hours, all minutes. Uh, uh, I recording ever to the to the teacher. <laughs> okay, production production in in Spanish uh, production, but production production in my production production and production. Production. Okay. Uh, only this uh, efficiency and quality to the to the garments. Okay. 
we all comp are all complete teacher and we find out that most of us we have all of the same we don't we been estuvimos trabators estuvimos trabators <laughs> trabados cuando es oh, eh, <laughs> para decir enfocado en resultado en, en ¿Cómo se dice eh, focus in result o focus oriented? ¿Cómo se dice? Yeah, uh, when we are talking about a focus in English, we don't say focus uh, for an adjective, we say oriented. Uh -huh. So we say, for example, uh, goal oriented. Uh -huh. O oh, está enfocado en las metas. Goal oriented. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, cumplir. Oh. Eh, ¿cómo, eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? ¿O cómo es? ¿Qué palabra se puede ocupar? Cumplir. Sorry, could you repeat that? Cumplir. Eh, cumplir el resultado, cumplir una meta. Achieve. Se puede usar achieve. Comply. Sí, yeah, achieve. Mm. O la otra que dijo, que dijo Manuel. Comply. The teacher is here now. <laughs> oh my God. Marvin. Sorry. Marvin is not here. Yeah. Ah, Marvin I Pitt. Ah, okay. Yeah, Marvin Pitt. In the house. <laughs> Marvin is in the house. <laughs> Marvin. Oh, I, I think you have you have a song, right? Yeah. <laughs> Con really? el pipi, con el pipi. Ay, no. Vale. Ay, with the big hat. Para que vayas con energía a trabajar, Marvin. Yes. ¿Hoy tenés libre? No, no. I work. Ok. I don't know yeah, which. Today is the last day. <laughs> it's really, it's really. It's real. Do you think it's real that you go to work? Yeah, <laughs> I have to work. I, I'm going to work. <laughs> yeah, he has no choice. Okay. okay. All right, guys. Sorry, sorry to the group. Um, group number two that um, I, I, I accidentally press the button to stop the, the groups ah. and um, that's why I was like los corté en medio I'm so sorry <laughs> I'm very sorry but anyways I'm actually going to explain um to the class what what I was talking to you guys about um whenever you talk in English about being like enfocado like towards uh, something like you have a certain focus on something in English the adjective comes from the word oriented Okay, so you can say, for example, I am no, no, it's focus, teacher. Focus. No. no. It's oh, really? <laughs> my, I, I remember that my boss uh, say uh, all focus, all focus. <laughs> when oh, saying the way, be careful with that word. It's focus, not focus. <laughs> It's focus. My, my, my focus boss is say all focus, all focus. <laughs> <laughs> so it's fo how do you say focus? Focused. Focused. Fo ah, focus. 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 Not focus. focus. So that, that you is no, almost no like focus. an I. Like an focus. A. It sounds like an A. Yeah, like more like a. Like C in uh, Spanish. The sound is uh. Focus. Focus. Uh. Focus. Uh, uh. Focus. 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 Okay. Ending with E, teacher. Huh? Ends with E focused with E D at the end. Focused. Mm -hmm. Focused. Focused. Yeah. The focused. Focused. Okay. Focus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yes, focused. Um. You can use. Focused, right? I mean, I am focused. Yo estoy enfocado, right? That's okay. But when you use it as like an adjective to describe a person, to describe the personality or the qualities of a person. So 
you would say oriented. Focus oriented. In, in, is more like in the moment. I don't worry, teacher. I am focused. Right means, you know, I, I estoy enfocado ahorita. I'm concentrated. Okay, but when you are talking about qualities of a person, you would say oriented. So goal oriented, or um, we could say family oriented. Customer service oriented, I heard that. Yes, um, family oriented. So it means a person that, um, you know, thinks about their family, that is very focused on the family. Um, customer service oriented. Yes, customer service oriented. Results oriented. Result oriented, okay. Oh, sorry, oriented, orient. No, that's oriented, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Okay, si no, si no van a ir a otro lugar, oriented. Let me, okay, so there you go, so oriented. Um, result. Do we need to use the dash? Yes, that's what I was going to say next. Oh. Okay, uh, result oriented, um, et cetera, et cetera, oriented. So this is a, about qualities, okay, personality, not what is happening in the moment. In the moment, you can say focus. Okay, so I want everybody focused. That's okay. Okay, quiero que todos estén enfocados, que estén concentrados. That's okay. But in the moment, not as a personality trait. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good. Now, um, eh, Ana Claudia brought up a point, and that was actually my next point, which is that, yes, we need to have the, da uh, it's actually not a dash, it's what we call a hyphen. Oh, a hyphen, I'm sorry. Uh, yes. in, in, this, in this context, it's called, it's called a hyphen. And what a hyphen does, it, it, com it, it combines two words together to make it one. It's what we call a compound noun. In this case, it's actually a compound adjective. Okay, so it's an adjective that is composed of two parts. So words like good looking, yeah, you, you probably have seen, that's a very common word good looking, and you will notice that it has a hyphen, good looking. So we combine good and looking, put them together and makes it an adjective, okay? So uh, compound adjectives are actually composed of a noun plus a present participle or a past participle. Like present participle, like good looking, looking, I-N-G, so that's the present participle, or um, like oriented, that's the past participle. Okay? Wow. Got okay. it? Okay. Yeah? We got everybody or do you have You say that the hyphen, what it does is combine. Mm -hmm. Ah, so the noun plus the present, a participle in this case. Present participle or past participle. Ah, okay. One of the two. Okay. And okay. how do we uh, name this, uh, for example, result-oriented uh, or, or this uh, combined words? How do we name, name them? The, the compound adjectives. Ah, compound adjectives. Compound adjectives. All right, the compound adjectives. adjectives. Is there a list of these ones or really? My good. I'll share. I guess all my life I've been uh, writing them without a hyphen. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll share some of the, in the group. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll look for some and, and I'll share them with you guys. Um, so anyways, um, so that's, yeah, so that's it. Okay, so tell me more, more about um, the qualities that you discuss as a group and that you are, you agree are important, are the most important. You know what, and, and don't, don't tell them to me, why don't you write them in the chat? I think it'll be better. Okay, so that way we can all see the words. Okay. 
Okay, so write in the chat the adjectives of the qualities that you believe are important in a good employee. Mm, good. I'm, I'm glad you, you guys have got a lot. Okay. All right. Let's start looking at some. Okay. So we have honesty. Okay. So that's a good quality. Yes. Honesty. Responsible. Very good. But just re remember that responsible um, always has an I, so it's responsible, right? So it's I-B-L-E. Um, punctuality or punctual, yes. Mm -hmm. Teamwork, responsible again. So there's another one, the same. Uh, teamwork again, yeah, very good. Uh, efficient, yes, very good, efficient. So you don't want to just work you want to be efficient right so you want to actually be able to produce something with your job right right um honesty okay so lots of honesties yes very good good attitude organized ongoing improvement okay that's very good yeah so somebody that tries to improve themselves all the time does not think oh yeah i'm i'm good at everything i don't need more Right, it's actually somebody that tries to improve themselves. Mm -hmm. um, willingness to learn and continue growing. Yes, very good, which is pretty much the same idea. Responsibility, there goes the other, that word again. Commitment, okay, good. I just want to make sure we understand the word commitment. What is commitment? feel identify with the company okay okay um right okay so basically um commitment is yeah you yeah very good yes you feel identified with uh, commitment is you feel identified and you have like a um you have a sense of identity with whatever it is you could be the company or it can be anything else and um that and because they feel ident the person feels identified they're not going to abandon them quickly right okay um now a good command of emotional intelligence wow that's that's a very interesting one yes emotional intelligence right um so sometimes uh, we can be very um you know we can be very intelligent like like have like a you know lots of of um knowledge but we also have to be emotionally intelligent can somebody tell me what is emotional intelligence for example that you don't take personal when someone tells you something improve your right okay you don't take it personal okay yeah okay the, the ability to manage your emotions okay good the ability to manage your emotions okay all right yeah okay good yeah so basically yeah very good that's a, that's a very good way to describe it uh good relationships right so um so interrelationships uh-huh uh leadership okay yeah sure teamwork there's an again the teamwork um social and verbal abilities okay very good basic english level okay sure why not um an analysis analyze capacity okay or we would say maybe more like a critical analysis 
vertical analysis could be a good way of putting that. Um, knowledge to make the procedures and essential activities in the workplace, okay, so knowledgeable, we would say that knowledgeable, knowledgeable, okay, that's what it means. So the no knowledge to make the procedures and essential activities in the workplace is uh, like somebody that's knowledgeable. We, like basically in Spanish, you say conocedor, okay? Uh, How do you pronounce it? I'm sorry. No. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. And be able to work under pressure. Okay. Okay. That's actually um, probably one of the 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 um, qualities that I've noticed. Uh, people like um, the employees always put like in the ads that they are able to work under pressure, right? Because, um, you know, they want people that are, you know, they can push basically, okay? All right, very good. So the words that I noticed were um, this, like very, like the ones that came up very much, a lot were honesty, responsible, um, teamwork, I saw. Um, what was another one I saw? Yeah, so pretty much those ones, those were like the three ones that I, that came up a lot. So, um, so honesty, responsible, and teamwork. Very good. Excellent. Okay, very good. Um, by the way, guys, I'm going to actually, I, I, I was saying this to every, uh, to one of the groups and I'm actually going to do it because um, I think we need to have practice so that we don't, like we've said this word many times, but sometimes it just, you know, our brains don't, don't register it. So we're going to practice this. We're gonna practice saying reduction, okay? <laughs> we're gonna practice it, okay? So I want everybody to practice this, word, okay? So remember, it's not production, it's production, everybody. Production. 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 I want you to production. exaggerate. I literally, I want you to so I don't want you to say production. I want you to say production. 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 There you go. Again, production. 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 Say it. Say it three times to get like all at once. So production. 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 Okay. I know. I know. You guys are feel like funny and and really silly doing doing that, but. It's necessary. Sometimes we got to do something like that to make the brain kind of get out of the, like shake the brain a little bit and make it get out of that, um, of, the, of that habit of saying it the wrong way. Okay. So this is a, like I'm saying, trust me, exaggerate, exaggerate. It's going to help. Uh, trust me. Okay. So, because, and I'm saying this because I've, I've, I've had to like in every class, I have to always um, go back to that word. So I just want to make sure that everybody remembers it once and for all. Okay. So at home, um, you know, you don't have to do it right now, but I do want you guys to do this like a, an exercise go production, 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 production. You know, and if you can do that, 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 um, that thing like that uh, movement also production thing. Like it, it really makes a difference. I know it's so somebody asked us, uh, what is your name? Production. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know it's it's funny, it's silly, you feel silly, but it's gonna help you. Okay. Production. Okay. Yes. Okay, so tonight before you go to bed. Production. <laughs> yes, exactly. production. Okay, production. yeah. I'm gonna say production. <laughs> production. Production. <laughs> Okay, so, um, 
<laughs> exactly. Okay. All right, guys. Very good. So we are going to move on to the next part. Um, just give me a second. Let's see if I can get it. Give me a moment. Okay. All right. So um, please let me know when you can see my PowerPoint. So we're going to continue with this. Um, can you see it? Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. Now? Can you see it? Almost. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. All right. Good. 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 Okay. So, so we discussed these two questions. Oh, we'll have one more question to discuss. I, I did. We didn't ask this question. What is the most essential quality to get a promotion? So from all the qualities that we discussed, what's the most essential one? What do you guys think? I couldn't only say one quality. For me, it's um, more than one. Honesty, as, as we said is is important as responsible and and some others that for okay. me are essential okay but i was I, I was telling you that uh when you are about to promote someone mm -hmm. you 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 take note if this person is more than it's asked to when that is asked to uh, gives more how do you say that when someone gives more than 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 his responsibility. Oh, how would you actually, say? We say goes the extra mile. Goes. Uh -huh. Does the extra mile. Yeah, well, I'll goes write it the down. Extra mile. Goes okay. the extra mile. And also another word very common okay. is to use is the multitasking. Yeah, multi multitasking is somebody that is able to do lots of things at the same time, right? Whereas goes the extra mile is like more like, okay, to give you an example, um, you know, I, I don't know, uh, go the extra you mile. You exceed your responsibility. It, it basically, uh, go the extra mile means the person does their job, but not only their job, they do, they do something extra, something that is not part of their job, but they take the initiative to do it, right? And they are willing to do more um, than what their job requires them to do, okay? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, and um, Anna Claudia says positive attitude. Okay, so attitude has all to do with with the promotion. What else? Someone brought also leadership. Leadership. Okay. Sure. Okay. It really depends on the kind of, of position, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, right. But in general, in general, what do you think is the most essential? A person that, well, in, in our environment is common to know as he's ruled by the book. Okay. I don't know how we can, uh, Goes by, we say goes by the book. Uh -huh. Okay. Goes by the book. That's what we say. Que sigue las reglas. Ah, that is a word. Uh -huh. Goes by the book. It's very common to hear that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All 
All right, good. Okay, so now that we've talked a little bit about this, let's talk about this conversation between Pedro and Max. Okay, Pedro and Max are going to be discussing precisely that. Okay, they're going to be talking about um, information that is very important for a good employee. All right, so I'm going to need two volunteers, one to be Pedro, the other one to be Max. Who wants to do that for me? Teacher, I want to be Max. Okay, wonderful. Okay, and Pedro? I'm here, Pedro. Okay. All right, Pe Pedro Pitt. Pedro Pitt. <laughs> okay. Mar go for it. Pedro Pitt. Peter Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Pitt. Pedro Pitt. Okay. okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rigid. Good morning, Mr. Rigid. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you want? Do you need? We are checking on um, someone reference. We are planning to promote him as manager. Mr. Sanchez doesn't not have any warnings. And the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what is required a uh, manager, uh, managerial position? It will be as a manager position or is correct to use at a manager teacher? Teacher. You mean managerial position? The way how is that? Uh, do you consider he has what it is required at um, a managerial? It says managerial. Yes, managerial. Mm -hmm. I I didn't read that. I read, mm -hmm. I read another. Okay. Um, okay. So. Um, all right, let's uh, go over vocabulary. So you can write in the chat words that you don't understand. This first vocabulary. Okay, is that it? Only that? Okay, all right. Looks like that's it. Okay, yes, yes, Andres, it is. Uh, it's, it's actually not a name, it's a last name. Okay, so it's a last name of a person, and it sounds to me like it's a Indian last name. Okay, so it's like an East Indian app, um, last name. Okay, somebody from um, India. Okay, um, and it's, yeah, it's Rajit, Rajit, Rajit. 
To promote means to make, to give a promotion. Think, to give a promotion. All right. Um, and managerial comes from the word manager. So a managerial position is a manager position, but it's just uh, managerial is like the adjective. Okay. Would be gerencial in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so that's it. Now let's look at the vocabulary, sorry, the, the pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Pronunciation. That's it. Only one word? I guess in that case, the word supervisor, we respect that you as a you, right? <laughs> supervisor, my supervisor. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> right. Super, su, super. Supervisor, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay, all right. Yes, so supervisors coming from super, right? So just remember super, right? And if you can't remember, then it's think about Superman. Okay, so super, supervisor. And uh, so that's why I'm saying like, it's not, it's not a rule that all you is pronounced as, as um, uh, right? It's not always uh, sometimes it's ooh, right? Like in supervisor. But most of the time, like I would say like 80%, it's, it's um, uh. Okay. Then we have consider, consider. Okay, nice. so consider. The stress is on the first level, consider. It's not consider, it's not consider, it's consider. Sorry, no, no, sorry, sorry. Sorry, it's on the second level, consider not on because it's not consider it's uh it's consider okay all right and uh oh i also have this word is references references okay So the stress is on the first syllable, references. Okay. Okay, good. All right. Um, so I want you guys to now listen to me and uh, repeat. We have good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's actually good night, but you know. No, I'm just sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yes, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is, uh, this is Mr. Pedro Regit. This is, this is Mr. Yes. Pedro, Pedro Regit. Good morning, Mr. Regit. Good morning, Mr. Regit. Mr. Regit. This is Max from HR. This is Max, Max from, HR. HR. from HR. How can I help you? How can I, How help, can I you? Help, you? help you? Hi, Max. Hi, Hi Max. Max. Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mario Sanchez. 
Alright, I have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Mauricio Sanchez. Mauricio Sanchez. Mauricio. 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 <laughs> okay. Um, okay. 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 What kind of information do you need? What, what kind of information, information do you need? Do you need? We are checking on some references. We are checking, checking on references. some references. 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 Yeah. References. 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 Good. The stress is on the first one, so it's not references. 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 Good. 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 We are planning to promote. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Him as, him a as, as a manager. As a manager. Mr. Sanchez, Mr. Mr. Sanchez, Sanchez does not have any warnings. Does, does not, not have, have any, any, warnings. any warnings. And the feedback, and the feedback, and the feedback we have about him, we, we have, have about, about, about him, him. him from his supervisor. From his supervisor. supervisor is that he is responsible. Is that he, he is, is responsible. responsible. I see. I see. I see. You consider. Do you, you consider, 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 consider? He has what it is. He has what it is. What it is. What it is. is Required, required, required at a managerial position. At a managerial position. Managerial. Managerial. Okay. okay, excellent. Okay, very good, guys. Okay, now what we're going to do is we have these questions here. What do you think are some of Mr. Sanchez's qualities? What is the new role Mr. Sanchez will have at the company? What do you think is Mr. Sanchez's current role? So I'm going to I'm going to get you to work in pairs. Listen carefully. First, discuss these three questions. That's the first thing you're gonna do, discuss these three questions. Second, practice the conversation. Third, continue the conversation. Okay, so I don't want you just to stop where it says, um, do you consider that he has, that he, that he has what is required at a, at a managerial position. I don't want you to stop there. I want you to continue going and continue the conversation. Um, yes, I think so because he is very blah, 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 blah. Or no, I really don't think so. I think he still needs more time at the company, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I want you to continue the conversation. So don't just stop where the, the writing is. I want you to make up from your own ideas. Does that make sense? Yes, yes teacher. Yeah, so I'll repeat. First, discuss first, these three first, questions. First, first. No, 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 I, I, will, I will repeat it to you, okay? okay. First, you're going to um, answer these three questions. Second, you're going to be um, practicing the conversation. Practice. Right? Third, continue the conversation. <coughs> Okay. Is that clear for everybody? Yes. 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 Okay. Good. So I'm going to give you. Oh, wait a second. Before we before we do that, let me take attendance. All right. 
Ana Claudia? Present teacher. All right. Andres? Present. Um, Present teacher. All right. Uh, Present. Yeah. Present okay. teacher. Thank you, Edgar. Yeah. Uh, Janet. Okay. Present teacher. Uh, Fabiola. Present. Katie. Present teacher. Irene. Present. Okay, Ivan. Present teacher. Hello. Johnny. Present teacher. Hello. Um, sorry, did I, did I hear John? Oh, yeah, Johnny's here. Johnny's here. All right, who's yeah, switch? Present teacher. All right, um, Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco, no. Okay. All right, Jerry. Jerry? Jerry is not here. Okay, um, Carla. Present teacher. Melissa. Um, Luis. Present teacher. Okay, Manuel. Present teacher. Marvin. Present teacher. Wendy. Very right in the chat. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Warner. Present teacher. Yvonne. Present. Francisco Javier. Jenny. Okay. All right. Okay. So right now I'm going to open up the groups. So I'll give you. Um, give you about 12 minutes. I'll give you 12 minutes to um, to work with your partner. Uh, Warner, you are on one device, two, right? Teacher. Huh? Uh, two. Two. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Two accounts. All right, um, so here we go. I'm going to open. Prefiero entrar tarde, fíjate que a no, a no poder entrar. Sí. Ok. Ok, let's start eh, with practice. Ok. Do understand what to do? Do you understand what to do or no? Yes, teacher, yes. Yes, teacher, we eh, are practicing eh, the conversation and then eh, talk about some Oh, Mr. San Sanchez. Yeah, um, exactly. So you're going to continue the conversation, but first discuss the questions. Uh, this, this, this is the question. The, the questions. Um, hold on. These questions right here. What do you think are some of Mr. Sanchez's qualities? What is the oh, okay. 
still have at the company. What do you think is Mr. Sanchez's current role? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, Chair. You're welcome. Okay, my name is Pedro. Uh, good yes. morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rajit. No entiendo aquí. El... Uh -huh. I don't understand. Well, let's read the conversation. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's read the conversation. Okay, okay, I'm okay. going to be Max if you want this time. Mm -hmm. Okay, one. Well, Ready well. to answer the questions? Uh, no, we haven't discussed the question. We discussed the question first. Yes, first. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, what do you think, Edgar, the, are some of Mr. Sanchez's qualities? Here, it's not showing, but I think he's responsible. I think, I don't know. What do you yes, think? Responsible. Uh, um, they uh, 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 they have to ability to resolve problem uh, this is the one the number two what is the new role mr sanchez will have uh, the company uh, supervisor yeah Ah, uh, no. And to manager. Manager. Manager from position. human resources. No. No, managerial position. Managerial. Managerial position. Managerial. Mm -hmm. Managerial position. Ah, mm -hmm. to manager, but in any place I found, I find, I can find uh, what is the uh, the position that he has. Yeah. And then, uh, teacher, we have a doubt about. Uh, we have a question about about this dialogue because one of the question is what do you think is Mr. Sanchez's current role, and we don't we don't find we don't find anything that told, tell us what is currently currently position current current position. Right. That's why it says what do you think. Um, yeah, is is a, like a cat, I guess, because oh, it's wow. going to be a man. <laughs> it's a, a it's a joke <laughs> because he is a, he is going to be a promoted to manager, and then he is a regular position. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't, no, I don't know. All right. No, it's okay. This is what you think. There's no right or wrong answer. It's what you think. Okay. 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 Supervisor. Yes. What do you think of your high team proactive responsible? Mm. Honesty. Mm -hmm. mm. Puntual. Mm -hmm. Punctual. 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 <clears throat> mm. Has a positive attitude. Attitude. 
Attitude. No. No. Attitude. Attitude. Yes. Attitude. Mm-hmm. And and the reason is because attitude is spelled like this. So it's in the chat. I wrote in the chat. So if you notice, there is no C. So it's not ak to do, it's attitude. There's no C. Okay. Okay. It's that to, to continue the conversation, we are, so we suppose that he had another skill in his last feedback. Okay. Yeah, so you're just gonna have to, you know, get like think, come up with your own ideas, you know, on how to continue the conversation. Okay. There's no right or wrong answer. Okay. Access. Uh, that the feedback that we have about him from his supervisor. I think uh, Mr. Sanchez. Uh, Is the chief, the chief Mr. Sanchez? No. Is the boss, the boss is Mr. Sanchez. Yes. The supervisor. Uh, mm -hmm. um, Maybe the current role, he is uh, like a boss or, or I don't know. Mr. Sanchez is a, yes, maybe a boss. Some, like a, maybe, a little. Uh, maybe yes, he's recruiting coordinator. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> what? <laughs> Could be. Yeah, because I know what is uh what is the actually the role. position the current role the current role yes um hello teacher <laughs> yes I think so he's a uh, I don't know a kind of um boss. The teacher, the ask word is confused because don't have the uh, the answer in the conversation. Right. Because the sentence says, what do you think? Yes. What do you think? So it's your I'm opinion. Out. According to the, the conversation, you have, you, you look at the conversation, you say, mm, I think this. But there's no right or wrong answer. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Maybe maybe Mr. Sanchez has, is benefit specialist. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. Have you practiced the conversation? Continue. Uh, no. Okay, no. Good, good. I, we are what? Yes, we are going to practice right now. Okay. Go for it. Okay. And then we have the conversation. Um, He's oriented on goals of the company. He has commitment of the company. And he is an, an, excellent, an, an excellent worker. And what do you think? And um, maybe has a good attitude. He is honesty. He is efficient. And uh, he has analyzed capacity. Okay, okay. In this, in this, in this way, do you? Promote him. Uh, uh, as a manager. 
Irene, es que la teacher. Ah. Sorry, Irene, sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Um, have you. Have you girls practiced the conversation? Yes, we are, we are. Continue the conversation. Continue the conversation. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just wanted to make sure about that. Okay, ignore me, okay? Continue. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, in this way, do you, do you, very, he's very kind, he's very kind. And I know him uh, uh, like a worker of the company, and I know him like a friend. And he is, he is very responsible, and he has a commitment. Just uh, on writing or grammatical and the practices is it's a short time. Yeah, I think saying uh, practice with the partner is most important. Uh, even sometimes the words come don't come easy. Yeah. Join the the sentence is very difficult sometimes. But if he, uh, everyone no don't do it uh we're gonna still speak in spanglish sometimes <laughs> yeah um miss jessica uh ivan recommends to manuel sanchez to uh man managerial position you recommend manuel sanchez yeah mauricio Mauricio. Yeah. In fact, I know somebody called, called Mauricio Sanchez. Oh, okay. Okay. Good, good. Okay, so you guys are finished? Yeah, yeah. teacher. Okay. Good, good. Excellent. All right. I'll see you guys in the main room. Yeah. Yeah. Do you live in San Salvador or in another latitude? Oh, I live in uh, Chalatenango, in La Palma. And here we are again. Okay, all right, guys. So you had an opportunity to share with your classmates to continue the conversation? Yes. Good, because I wanna now hear those conversations, okay? So let's have volunteers who would like uh, to share their conversation. Me. Okay, Jerry, who are you working with? With. I'm sorry? Who are you working with? Andres. Okay, all right. So, Andres, are you ready? Uh, just to check out. We just have. Two more lines. Oh, it's okay. Whatever you have. No worries. Whatever you have, I, I would like you to share. Okay, I'm going to say the line of the max. And for me, for me was yes, he is qualified to be a manager. Um, Pedro say, when do you consider to promote him? Uh, as soon as possible. Just that. Can you do like the whole conversation? 
Okay. At home. Okay. Good. Uh, let me see, Pedro. Good morning. Mm -hmm. This is this is Mr. Pedro Rijet. Good morning, Mr. Rijet. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some references and we are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not, does not have any warnings and the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he's responsible. Uh, I see. Do you consider he has what is what it is require, required at the man, managerial position? Yes, he's qualified to be a manager. Okay, when when do you consider promoting him? As soon as possible. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, very good, bravo. I'm very good, excellent. Very good, guys. Um, okay, good. Next, another another part, another pair. Volunteers. Please don't volunteer all at once. Only two volunteers, please. Como se están peleando ahí por, por ser the next volunteer, I'm going to. A dedo, eh. <laughs> Dedocráticamente. Dedocráticamente. Okay. Vaya. I'm literally, okay. Um, vaya. Eh, be, let's see. Um, jury, give me a number from 1 to 20. Five. Okay. I'm going to say it desde mi pantalla. I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, five. Janet. Okay. Who is your partner, Janet? Irene. Okay. All right, Irene. Ready, Irene? Okay. Ay, no tengo, no tengo. Sorry, ahorita. Okay. Uh, good morning. This, uh, this is Mr. Pedro Rigid. Good morning, Mr. Rigid. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind, what kind of information do you need? We are checking on some references. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings. And the feedback we have about his from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what is required at a managerial position? Yes, I consider he has a lot of abilities for this position. For example, he is uh, allergic. He has good relationship with, with co-workers and he have uh, he has emotional intelligence and I think that he is an uh, excellent person for this position. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. Bravo, girls. Excellent. Okay. All right. Um, Janet, give me a number from one to twenty. Uh, ocho. Eight. I go. I going to leave, teacher. You are the number eight. Don't go. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, hold on. <laughs> okay, say so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cassie, 
Marvin. Uh, Marvin, Marvin, you are number seven. So. Oh. <laughs> Bye, Marvin. I know where it is. Goodbye. Because number eight is Irene. So. Bye, Marvin Pitt. Bye, -bye Marvin Pitt. Pero ahorita que Marvin se desconecte, cambia la posición. Oh, no. Okay, bye. Desconectes, Marvin, y vamos a ver qué tal. Okay, again, Janet, another number? Number 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Johnny. Who's your partner, Johnny? Uh, my partner is Emanuel. Manuel, okay. All right, Manuel Leandro, ready? Ready. Yeah. Okay, Manuel, let's go. Uh, good morning. This is Pedro Richit. Good morning, Mr. Richit. This is Max from Human Resource. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, what kind of information do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings and the feedback we have about him from his, his supervisor is that he's responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required at a, at a man, managerial position? Okay, that's it. Okay, very good. Um, it, did you guys add more information to the conversation? You were supposed to continue the conversation. Did you continue the conversation? I think he's, he's a lot of abilities to the position to the new position, and he has a responsible person. Okay, but, but okay, so J Johnny, did you and Manuel continue the conversation? So, después de haber practicado, continuaron la conversación? Uh. No, the chin. Yeah, that was it. You only practiced the, the, the conversation there. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. No problem. Okay. Well, thank you very much, guys. Bravo. Okay. Excellent. All right. So let's discuss the questions that we have here. Um, What's the Okay, so let's discuss these questions. Um, first question, what do you think, what do you think are some of Mr. Sanchez's qualities? Responsible. Responsible. Okay, he's responsible. Shows respect. Shows respect, okay, sure. What else? He has leadership skills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Most likely he has leadership skills. Okay. Anything else? No? Okay. Let's go into the next one. What is the new role Mr. Sanchez will have at the company? Managerial position. Managerial position. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he will be a manager, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. And what do you think is Mr. Sanchez's current role? So in this moment, what is what is his role? What do you think? Supervisor. Supervisor? We've been Coordinator. Since also could be an administrative assistant. Yeah, administ administrative assistant, okay. Okay. Assistant manager. Assistant manager. 
Okay. All right. Good. For number one and number two, some uh, some people were saying, but teacher, there's uh, the information is not there. You're right because the question says both number one is what do you think are some of the new uh, Mr. Sanchez qualities, and this one is what do you think is Mr. Sanchez's current role. So this is your opinion. So there are no right or wrong answers. So like you know that that's going to change for everybody. The important thing is for you to analyze the information and see what it is according to what you think. Okay, so we're gonna continue now. We're gonna be looking, we're gonna be talking about the present progressive at this moment. So the present progressive, let's take a look at that. I need a volunteer to help me read. You can help me read. Me teacher. Okay, go ahead, Haiti. Use the present progressive to talk about ongoing situations. Structure, subject plus verb B plus verb ING plus complement. Example, we are updating the information this weekend. The staff is planning to give him a promotion. In negative statements, add the part particle not after the verb B. Thank you. Okay, so present progressive. You probably remember that the present progressive is used to talk about what people are doing in this moment. For example, we can say, we are, um, we are connected on Zoom. Sorry, where, sorry, we are, sorry. We are, no, but I said, we, we are taking are, class. Okay, we are taking class by Zoom. Mm -hmm. We can say the teacher is explaining, right? Or we can say, um, I don't know, something like, uh, get out of it, get out of it. Um, No, no puedo agarrar nadie aquí. Es fragante. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm looking for somebody, that, but no, right? Uh, everybody, okay. You can say, okay. Uh, we can say, I don't know. Um, Johnny is paying attention in class. Okay. So we are talking about things that are happening in this particular moment. That's how we usually have learned about the present progressive. But what we're learning right now is not about what things are happening in this moment. We're talking about things that are ongoing. So it means it continues. It's not something necessarily of this moment, but around this moment that it continues, okay? So if you noticed, We say, we are updating. We are updating the information this weekend. The staff is planning to give him a promotion. Now, we are updating the information this weekend. Um, we are not talking about something we're doing in this moment. The staff is planning to give him a promotion. Um, again, this is not something that's going on in this moment. You're not giving a promotion in this moment. You're not planning to do it, but it's around. It continues to to happen, okay? And in the in the negative in we, in the negative form, we just put the not um, with the is, okay? So how do we? Let's go over the structure of the of the present progressive. How do we form the present progressive? Let's remember this. Who can help me? How, what do we start with? With subject. Good. We start with the subject. Make it smaller. Okay. Then what goes next? Verb. Right. The verb. verb to be. The verb to be. That's right. So in what form? Basic form, the present form. Not the basic. Present. Simple present. Right. Simple present. So 
what are the options that I have? I am. Right. You are. I am. She is. It is. Right. Um, it is. Are. Is and are. Right. So those are my options. Now, what happens? What are my options if I want to make it negative? Not. Right. So I'm going to say am not. And what's the option if I want to make this one negative? Isn't. It's and, not. Very good. Or it is not. But I, it's better to say isn't. It's probably. Okay. And what about R? Are not or aren't. Red aren't. Okay. Probably easier to say the aren't. Okay. Okay. So sub subject. Sorry. Subject. Okay. What goes after this? The verb plus e ing. Ing form. Right. Verb plus ing. Okay. Good. What goes next? The complement. The complement, if necessary. Actually, yeah, it's abbreviated because of space. Teacher, today is the, let me ask you, today is class number 14, right? Right. Okay, the homework in the platform yesterday, the homework, uh, the homework 13, it was about this, um, this uh, the usage of the present progressive for ongoing action. But I have, problems with the second one. I don't know if someone made the uh, homework number 13. Uh, it's not allowing to, to write it as it is. Um, I'll check it out. I'll okay. Check it out. okay. 13 is okay, yes. check it out. Yes, because uh, the, the number 14 for today is using was and where. <laughs> Uh, I I made the that homework teacher, and I think uh, the clue is that uh, you are saying right now uh, it's uh, activities that uh, are ongoing. It's not activities that you are doing uh, okay. in the moment. Ah, okay, it's about got it. Going situation. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. exactly. That sentence has two mistakes, not only one. Oh, well, but I, I will try then. I... Okay, so this is the structure. Thank subject. you. Yeah, thank you very much, actually. So this structure is subject plus am or am not, or is or isn't or are or aren't, plus the verb, plus ing, plus the complement if, if you're gonna use it. Now, I'm gonna give you some examples, okay? So, some examples of this are, uh, the, like, I mean, they we have the examples here, but I wanna give you more examples so that it makes it a little bit easier. I am studying at the university Am I, if I, if I study at the university, am I studying at the university in this moment? No. No, it's something ongoing, it continues. I'm okay. studying at the university. Um, she is saving money to buy a car. Is she saving money in this moment? No. No, it's something ongoing, right? She continues to save money. Okay. They are investigating the accident. In this moment, they're investigating. No, not necessarily. Right. No. They, it's a. It's a. It's an ongoing investigation. It continues the investigation. 
you are growing some beautiful roses in your garden. So the roses don't just grow in one moment right now, in this particular moment, they continue to grow. Mm -hmm. We are living in an apartment. Just now in this moment, no, not necessarily. I can, I can say, uh, I can be outside. I can be in the, in you know, in the park or at school, and I can say we're living in an apartment. Not in this moment. I'm living in the apartment, but around this time, it continues to happen. He is dating a really pretty girl. Is he dating her in this moment? Not necessarily. Maybe he's, you know, he, maybe they're far apart. Maybe. Maybe she's in another country, but it, it's an ongoing activity that continue. He continues to date her. Does that make sense? Teacher, what what is the meaning of growing? Growing to uh -huh. make something go up. Uh, and why uh, you use you are growing? Because roses, you grow roses, you grow plants and, and flowers. You make the plant from little bit to go up and make it big. Oh, okay. 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 So if you noticed, we're using the verb, uh, we're using the subject, which is in this case, I, here is she. They, you, they, we, you. and he. Okay. Now, after that, we said that the structure is am, is, or are, and that is actually exactly what we were using here. We have am is are 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 and is so depending on the subject we're going to be using the m is or are and after that we're using the verb in this case study save investigate, grow, live, and date. And after that goes the ING. So studying, so studying, saving, investigating, growing, living, and dating, okay? And the rest is the complement. Okay. So at the university, money to buy a car, the accident, some beautiful roses in your garden, in an apartment, a really pretty girl, okay? Sounds good? Teacher. Yeah. I have a question. I have a doubt about growing the verb. I have seen this verb sometimes is used with up. For example, you are growing up. What is the difference? What is the difference between growing up? Yeah. She already explained it. So the what growing is up, you said when is we are talking about the human that is Becoming from a child, a young girl, adult, etc. Mm -hmm. And when we use grow, is just the verb grow is for anything else. Right, exactly. So grow up means more like um, uh, to become an adult or to become mature, to to uh, change like a to. Getting older? Yeah, to get older, let's say. To get older, 
or to become more mature. Let's grow up. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Oops. Sorry. All right, guys. So now that we've done that, now that you've seen that, let's take a look at the exercises that I want you to do. So. Write uh, sentences using the present progressive form of the verb in parentheses. So these words, these verbs here in parentheses, plan, call, check, write, send, and speak. Write sentences using these, these verbs, okay? In the present progressive. Then you're gonna work in small groups, join your breakout room, share your sentences with the class, with the classmates. Oops, sorry. So right now I want to do create sentences. How are you guys doing? You ready?
Okay, how are you guys doing? You ready now? Yes, teacher. Fine. You ready? Yes. yes. Okay, good. All right. Um, okay, so we're going to be getting into groups, sharing your sharing your sentences with your partner, okay? Um, a second. Warner, is Warner here? Get a problem, how it is connected. Okay, so here we go. Open a, uh, you can, you can um, join your group. Are we having problems? Is that? And standing. The, the number one to me was uh, okay, going to say that my, my sentence, the first one is Chris and Kelly are planning a breakfast. The number two is my boss is calling us a meeting. Number three, he's checking his computer. Number four, uh, the students are learning in the classroom. Number five could be Sen, and they are sending a, his homework. Situation is open. Uh, the situation is open. It's, it's not uh, happens in that moment right right now. Okay, I got it. Thanks. I appreciate the correction. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, it's so, your turn. Okay, uh, my first sentence is: I am planning to visit my mother. Uh, Salvador is calling me all day. We are checking the project. I am writing my new book. He is sending a lot of emails and he is speaking English very fluid. Oh, well. And the number five is the same. Yeah. I copied it. We you. are connecting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. There are okay. six. We are ready. Yeah, we are okay. Ready to get back to the. We are. We are 
taking. Work in the weekend. Okay. Uh, they they are calling the other the other employees. I am checking the the new computer. He is he is uh, writing one book at Language Francis. Okay. Is correct or <laughs> no? Yeah. Uh -huh. 